murder. That's what this episode is about, but it's a little bit different than normal. This is a tale of twisted irony, cold-blooded murder, and more. Today is about the life and death of American mobster Bugsy Siegel. Let's begin. Benjamin Siegel was a mobster. That's no secret. From a very, very young age, a teenage Ben Siegel already had a criminal record when he befriended Meyer Lansky and formed a mob to elevate their crimes. With Lansky, he worked as a bootlegger and hitman as well as a drug trafficker with ties to the likes of Abner Zwillman, Al Capone, Frank Costello, and Lucky Luciano, gaining more and more infamy and influence to his name as the years moved on. With the formation of the NCS, or National Crime Syndicate, came Siegel's biggest claim to fame, the formation of Murder Incorporated, a gang of hitmen credited with professionalizing murder, and Siegel himself assisted in the imprisonment of Waxy Gordon, the murder of the Fabrizio brothers, and Luciano Schultz's murder of Pretty Amberg. After moving to California, he was befriended and admired by stars all around Hollywood, such as Gary Cooper, Jean Harlow, and Frank Sinatra, expanding his influence. And in 1941, Siegel narrowly avoided conviction on the murder of Big Greeny Greenberg, and although he was acquitted, he was branded with the Bugsy nickname that he was known for forevermore. Where things really pick up is when Bugsy started the project he'd been waiting years for, the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas. What was supposed to be an extremely profitable business venture had the first attempt provide disaster, losing over a quarter million dollars for the mob. Proving stubborn and independent the mob slowly began to tire of waiting for the Flamingo to turn a profit, and even with the reopening on March of 1947 proving to be more than decent at gaining profit, it was obvious that Siegel had fallen out of favor despite his years of loyalty. On June 20th of that same year, while relaxing in Virginia Hill's home with his friend Alan Smiley, Siegel was gunned down by a mystery assailant through an open window. One of the often cited theories of what happened is that the syndicate held a meeting in 1946 about the excessive spending and possible theft of mob resources by Siegel. As the story goes, Meyer Lansky, the original best friend and associate of Bugsy from the very beginning, agreed with the board of directors that a contract should be put out for Siegel's life. Whether this story be true or not, nobody was ever convicted of his murder and the case remains open. How truly fitting that the founder of Murder Incorporated found himself the victim of a professionalized murder, likely by the men he himself associated with years prior. Bubsy Siegel has left a profound impact and a legacy behind as one of the most ruthless and infamous mobsters in all history, and his death remains an American mystery no one will ever truly know the answer for. But anyway, thanks for watching, and thanks for the continued support. I couldn't do it without you. Today was a little different, so let me know if this kind of format is something that you like. And as always, please leave me a suggestion. They help a ton. Have a good night, a good day, and everything else. Goodbye.